We're getting so close to planting in our new field for the first time. Randy's feeling stoked. It's going to be a good time. We got to pick up the rest of these rocks. We're going to do just that. We're making like, what, $79 a trailer full? That's ridiculous. This is episode 19 of Survival South America. Hey everyone, Dirty Randy here, and it is February. Looking good. So far, we're, uh, we're doing pretty good, I think. Um, I don't know why these keep looking brown but they do have water in there I assure you um, they're producing see we got a couple pallets of soybeans there that's awesome and uh, I think we're starting off today by collecting some more stones we just uh, we got started on it last time we were out here which is kind of nice I think we got more or less the headland done yeah you can see those little strips there so that's kind of nice and uh, we got to just continue on with this guy so let's try and get them in a good position. That way we can scrape up the rocks and yeah, see our front wheels were off the ground and we can't turn. We gotta find that nice height. Just, hey, that looks pretty good. And of course, I mean, the sun is starting to come up, but it is, uh, will be a little bit. And I mean, it's not a perfectly square field either, so it's kind of, I don't know, I, I want to go up and down, but equally I'm kind of like, do we just keep going round in circles? I don't know what the most efficient oh thing to do is, but uh, there we go. As that sun comes up, it'll be that much easier for us to see where we're going, because these rocks, they're pretty small for the most part. You know, I don't see any too crazy large stones out here. But that's all good. You know, I feel like we got a head start with having this headland done for us already. That's awesome. We can kind of just keep rolling on. And hopefully we can get this done. Because we got to spread lime on here as well. We've got enough rocks collected in our big pile over there too. Where I think, you know what? It might be worth it to throw those in the trailer or something. And bring those over to the debris crusher. Uh, that, could be, that could be useful as well. Make a little bit of money from those and we do have some lime hopefully it'll be enough to get this field done and then we can keep going from there you know um, got some things in mind I want to try and get done you know we kind of got a month window uh, here you know going into springtime next month but I think we're gonna be trying to plant soybeans and if that's the case we will have to wait uh, just that extra uh, just one more extra month oh boy see dropped it down too high all good we're we're getting her done so soybeans going in you know we still got that month window and I wouldn't mind trying to get some other things done in the works maybe even like try and save up to buy a shelter of some sort um, a shed for putting some stuff in you know that might not be a bad idea, you know, try and get some stuff organized and just expand the farm a little bit more. Oh, we actually uh, filled up this fork. What do you know? And I think if we're going to go sell this stuff, we should maybe be smart and uh, instead of just dumping it down right here, go get the truck, get the trailer, and uh, just dump this straight into there. That way we can pick up the rest later and it's just saving ourselves 
a bucket load there. So our nice grass covered truck here, hop in and looks like our trailer's over there. All right. Oh, I, I thought it was facing the other way. Uh, that's all right, we're good. This makes it easier. We can just back her up, get hooked up. Boom, boom. And now that we have uh, ooh, our other trailer there, um, it should make life a little bit easier for uh, selling trees and stuff as well, because we can definitely fit bigger ones on there. So that's kind of cool. <clears throat> we m might have to upgrade it though, and look into maybe getting some log forks for our front loader here. Um, that way we can actually pick up some bigger ones. That would make life easier as well. So well, let's just do that. We can turn this guy back on and uh, just dump the rest of these in the air. Oh, this is a lot. Wow, okay. Well, that makes me think we might not even be able to do it all in one trip, but we're almost done a rock picking over here. So I don't think we're gonna have too, too much more that we're gonna take out of this field. You know, it's still gonna be a fair bit, but not, not the end of the world amount. So I think, you know, with any luck, we'll be able to take all of it over there. So find that nice right height and we can still turn and we can send her. All right, we're looking good. We got maybe five-ish more passes, something like that. And then we can think about uh, what's going on next. So that's looking good. We'll finish this up real quick. And then we will uh, load up the rest of those Rockies. And to see how much money we can get for them. I don't imagine it's gonna be a heck of a lot, but anything is gonna help. Ah, oh, I lost my perfect height. Huh? All right. That'll do. Okay, let's get the rest of this done, and then we can continue on, continuing on. I think that's all of it. it. There might be one or two little patches lurking that I didn't quite get, but I think we actually got, got, uh, got them all done pretty well there. So, this is a rather big pile, but we're gonna do our best. We might have to make a couple trips. That is all good. Start to get rid of these guys, and uh, all the money we can get helps if we're starting to save up for a shed. So that is nice as well. Um, all right, well, that looks like that's probably gonna be it, just based off weight limit, I'm guessing, because we could definitely overload that, but, uh, that's not what you want. That's no fun. It's already a bouncy enough road for us. So let's just shut her down there. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's another nice full load. What you gonna do? All right, well, you know, let's see, uh, let's see what we can do. I've never really sold any rocks around here. We have our hose or our, uh, yeah. Ooh. Our cables rather connected on our trailer that I believe was the missing link before why we couldn't sell stuff you know and then we ended up buying all these boxes to uh, make it work so I think fingers crossed have a good feeling about it if uh, we can get these sold over there I think the only issue might be you know that it's raised up a little bit but I mean we'll, we'll do our best We made it wasn't too bad actually getting over here so this is uh, the place in question here we go there we go nice hey it worked we know our trailer worked now and that stone crusher is moving total of $79 nice I feel like I just took my recycling to the bottle depot and got some spare change you know it's got to be done it's, it, you know, it. why not? You get a little extra money, but it's nothing too crazy. Might buy uh, 
part of a tank of gas or something, but not even in this economy. Rains have made it for today. That's all good. And uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to fit all of the rocks in there. But you know what? Three trips. That's starting to add up slowly but surely. So that's not, not bad. I will take that. Um, we got some soybeans over there as well. So I think it might attach our, uh, our pallet fork and get those loaded up too. Just that way... You know, we can go make uh, a little bit more money as well. And uh, then, you know, we'll see what else kind of happens. Uh, I don't think the rain is supposed to last too long today. And we don't necessarily need to rush to get that lime down. As long as it's done by the end of next month. Oh my god, this does not look like it wants to behave. It's on there now. And hey, it looks like that rain is uh, helping out those soybeans too. They're getting a little bit of extra water. Not that they didn't have any, but they're nice and bright green now. Hey, that's behaving. You love to see that. You love to see it. And we might even have to get the bucket put on here sometime soon as well. And just expand the farmyard a little bit more. Add some more um, little roads, pathways, and stuff like that and maybe clear some of these bushes as well because I feel like they're just very intrusive to trying to see where we're going, you know? Otherwise, we're looking pretty good. And of course, we gotta find a spot for a shed as well. Um, oh, dang it, Randy. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Where did it go? Well. I just spent a solid five to ten minutes up in the drone looking for that pallet. It looked like it went up and to the left, and uh, you know, I just I searched everywhere I could, but no luck. So, I mean, after going that high, it definitely would have spilled the beans, anyways. So, that's yeah, a little bit of income lost, and not gonna lie, that's uh, a tiny bit of a setback. But you know what? way she goes nothing we can do about it we might find it again one day eventually you know when we take down some bushes or trees or who knows we might find it in the craziest of spots but uh you know we'll keep an eye out for it nothing else we can really do right now we made it into town i believe we go up on this other uh drive through terminal to get rid of our soybeans here so we're gonna do that first Oh, there we go. Thank you. And then we can go get rid of our stones as well. And it won't be another hefty $79 load, but you know, they can't all be uh they can't all be lotto winners, you know. That's fine. We'll get we'll get enough for our tank of gas here when we make our way over to the other side of town. And like I said, I think we might invest in uh you know, a log fork or something. Back into the yard here. I think we're just going to drop off our trailer really quick and then hop back in the truck and head straight on over to the farm shop. Let's just get her done. Uh, you know, we're going to have to be spreading lime here pretty soon, but I mean, the rain is still going. Like I said, we can probably still get that done next month. And this looks like a little grass bale that we missed. So we're going to toss that in the truck as well. Hello, friend. You can go there. Uh, no, you can go there, and you can get a strap. There we go. All right. And, you know, we could take this path. I am 
considering extending the path down this way, adding another field over here, because this is where it pops out to that other access road that goes through the water. You know, we know we can make it through here. Whoop. Yeah. With a little action shot, too. A little big jump. Little big jump. And we're looking good. So, just like that, we're already almost into town. So, you know, that's something to consider as well. If we make another field down that direction, you know? Lydon here grabbed like $5 for this bale. I'm curious to see how much we actually will get. $16. Wow, that's... Why do I feel like that's more than I was expecting? Either way, pull up here and get refueled. Uh, oh, ah. Whole lot on sale. Away she goes. Um, front loader tools. That's an expensive log fork. And I don't think we need something quite like that. But there is a stole one, I believe. This guy that I wouldn't mind trying out. 800 bucks. That's awesome because that will... You know, we could even make this JD Green. Why not? It's an extra $200, so that's why not. Um, so let's just buy this. There's all good. And I think we're right below us. Weights. Let's pick up a weight as well uh, just to counteract those, uh, you know, 900. I feel like that's probably 11. I don't know, do we just splurge and get a little bit more? Or not? I don't know, I feel like... I don't know. I almost want to go bigger the better, just... Just to make sure we can get her done, you know? But that's a lot of extra weight on the tractor. Either way... We're gonna risk it, we're gonna... Ah! 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 Yeah, I don't know. Let's do it. Whatever. We got this. It's expensive, but, you know, with the new trailer and being able to pick up, you know, bigger things with all this stuff, I think it'll pay off pretty quickly. Good bud. All right. Well, thank you for the farm shop for getting that loaded up there. And with that little bit of extra income we got today, nothing crazy. I mean, we covered our fuel costs, so that's nice. And I feel like we not quite covered the purchase of these things, but we definitely offset them enough that, uh, you know, we still have, like, I don't know, $5,600 or something like that um, in that ballpark, which is going to be helpful because I think the shed we're trying to get is maybe about seven grand all in, you know, um, maybe a little bit more even with just a little bit of landscaping, but I'm sure that's stuff that we can do ourselves and level out the area but we gotta pick somewhere for that to go uh, we got a couple contenders for spots that we'll probably need to clear some trees from some spots more than others depending where we want to put it but either way this uh, this will come in handy for doing that I do want to get rid of this tree it seems like it's right in the way when we come in here with where our field is you know what I mean and we can extend a path up here this is a spot I was considering this little open area the tree right here we could <coughs> get rid of but just because it's on such a slope you know it's going to be a lot more work to just get that area leveled off you know so I think that might not be the best spot as much as there's kind of already room for it all right let's get hooked up to this trailer as well and then we can offload our stuff on here all right, that's on. Let's go here, hook up that, pull through here, and our John Deere, I guess, is on the other side, right about here. All right, so we can unfold that, and let's get our stuff off here. The straps did their job beautifully. Got everything on there, and it's looking good. Uh, oh yeah, that weight? Wonderful. Tractor's got no problem with it. So, 
this is another spot that's a contender. It's already kind of cleared out. This tree pr probably could stay, and this one would maybe only have to be the only one that has to go. Um, so that's not bad either. Um, and I am tackling with either this spot right here or just a little bit further down the hill and uh, where it's already kind of level as well. We clear out some of these trees here and we put just a nice little shed down in this little pocket and um, oh, you know, that's where we can kind of keep stuff stored and you know, it's just down the hill a little bit but the water is right here um, as well and as we expand, you know, it's just that's where it is. So that's a spot I am considering, you know. I do really like that spot. I think that's the only reason I'm, you know, like, want it to go there. I feel like that would be a good spot for a shed, but I feel like up here makes just as much sense for now. So, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. But either way, um, you know, things are coming along. I think let's just get rid of this tree over here as well. Um, anyways, let's just, I feel like something's gonna go here. Maybe both spots eventually will have something. So, I'm gonna turn off the tractor because I don't want it to be idling too much. We're starting to run low on diesel. Maybe should have brought that into town to top it up, but I think we're doing all right. Um, let's just go something like that. Let's see if we can't get rid of this stumpy. There we go, and these trees, not as easy to process, that is for sure, but we'll see what we can actually salvage from this guy. You know, might have to make some sacrifices. This one is not so much for the money, it's just more clearing it out of the way, I think, um, which is fine. You know, we got still lots of other money trees, if you will. So we will get to those as well. But this one, I think, you know, this is probably where our first shed is going to end up. So. Hmm. Could almost just save these, you know, and use them on the shed for parts of them. This guy we could probably split in two, however, and put it onto the trailer. The rest of these we can just shuffle around. I mean, they're, they're not the heaviest. You can just swing them. Alright. That'll do. Let's uh, move the truck over a little bit, I think. Just that way we're not banging into stuff. And we're looking good. Tomorrow, I think we can focus on uh, putting some more lime down, but for the time being here, if we just want to start dealing with some trees, I think that'll be... Uh, that would be pretty awesome. So, that's about as good a spot as any. Right downhill. We'll see how it goes. Well, moment of truth, I suppose. Something like that. Oh, baby. Okay. Oh, no. All right, well, we had it, and then we goofed it. We got this. We could be a little bit more centered, but that's all right. Huh? Huh? That's just... Oh, yeah, all right. That wants to slip on us. Away she goes. I think we can do this. Let's try and do that. There, that way we got the base under it, and it doesn't want to slip from us. We can get it on here. And we should even be getting some more money. Po possibly. Sorry, I was going to say possibly, probably. And I made up a new word. Um, but yeah, we should get more money for having these be long, you know, bigger and uh, less cut. So this is where it being downhill is throwing me off because I don't want it to. I don't want it to fall. Nailed it. Okay. That'll do. Let's grab this other guy as well. Oh, oh, okay. 
I think, yeah, come at it from the top. You can get a nice clamp, and then you turn it that way, and you're laughing. Let's adjust this guy a little bit and get a strap if we can. Moment of truth. I don't think this trailer has straps on it, which makes me kind of sad. But these are pretty hefty logs, so I'm wondering if we just take it easy how that'll go. I'm, I'm not convinced it's going to be much better, but it is what it is, you know. Um, moving to a new spot where we might want to attack some trees. I don't know where the next best option is. Um, like I said, maybe down by that other trail there might be a good option, you know. We started to clear out this area a little bit too, I believe. We'll, we will get there. We will get there. But I think, yeah, just over here, um, where's that other tree that's an inconvenience? Let's deal with him as well. And then we can probably just process some trees and get them all ready. So this is the one. All right. Uh, as long as it doesn't fall onto the field, I think we're good. Get that done. Get this done. And these ones, of course, yeah, a lot easier to process. Just go down the middle. And then we just pretty much got to separate them. And, you know, I, without straps on that trailer, I'm really not disappointed, but it's just that's tough. That's tough. If, uh, if they're going to be flying around, I don't know what we can really do about that. Processed? Well, we fell that tree down there, and we came back for this guy. I just want to see how she goes you know can we get this down there without these trees being too crazy um, I don't know but we're gonna try our oh no okay that's all she took hey that's disappointing that is disappointing um, slow and steady wins the race I guess but we're gonna be able to put three on here max you know a little triangle stacked up even then that's gonna be sketchy but we're gonna try it I think we'll start with the base on this one we'll cut it relatively to the same size as this other one you know line it up and then do the same with one more and that's probably gonna be it but we'll see how it goes all right, let's just do that. That way we don't have to move it over too much. And then, what, like a truck length? That one can be a little bit longer on top. The rest of it we can probably just chop up and throw in the back of the truck as normal. But we will see how it goes. If we can get them there without too much hassle, I think... It might be worth it depending on how much money we get like if we get uh, some you know more money for them because they're in better shape you know uh, and less pieces then it might be worth it even if we have to go a little bit slower down the bumpiest roads known to man so getting these offloaded I think it's gonna be the trickiest part there we go. Thankfully, they are pretty heavy. This one might be the straw that breaks it, you know. Um, not even a straw. It's just big lumber. Oh, okay. We got it picked up. I'm glad we got this other weight. You know what I'm saying? So, We can get it up nice and high without the trailer bobbing around too much, but this is where it's going to be difficult, you know? We're going to try it. Open that and just 
Let it slide. You want to slide for me? Oh. Oh. I don't want to push my luck. But that's on. That's there. Uh, I just really wish I had some rope or something to yoss those on. But that's all right. Um, so I think we'll just shut that down for now. I don't know how much more we're going to get done. And then this will just do it, uh, do it by hand like we used to do and get the back of the truck there filled up. We can go take at least one load over there. That should be fine. And there's, of course, that other little piece that was just hanging a boot that fell off our trailer. Uh, what can you do, I guess? So, we gotta remember, we cannot go fast with this. At all. Alright. We're getting places. Oh, we got it strapped up. So that's awesome. Um... It's just it's real dark, and I don't want to create a roadblock in the middle of the night. So I think we're going to slowly creep up to the farm, and then call it a day. Tomorrow, first thing, we're going to go sell these bad boys, slowly but surely, if it turns into a big problem then we at least have time to deal with it. So, you know, that's that's kind of the game plan there. If, if it all breaks out tonight, um, well, we're going to be up all night. And that's not going to be a good time because we do have stuff to do tomorrow. So, right there, we're good. Turning off the lights and uh, let's go find our home. Well, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, well, some exciting stuff happening, you know. More to come on the agenda, so stay tuned, all right? All right. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.